Hi and welcome to this three part video series on how to deal with back pain. My name is Mark Chen, I am a physiotherapist and personal trainer and a nutritionist and I'm currently working in Phnom Penh, Cambodia and for the last 10 years or so, 15 years, I've been working with people that try to get fit but mostly people that deal with injuries and especially chronic or long-term injuries. So I've seen hundreds if not thousands of people with back pain and persistent back pain throughout the years. And you now there's one thing they all have in common. All the people that come to me are pretty much hopeless. They've tried it all and usually they get up to a point where they've met with a uh, either a doctor or an orthopedic uh, specialist and they are faced with the choice to get surgery or get on heavy pain medications or nerve blockers or anything um, like that. And it's my job to make them realize that, you know, in most cases, let's say in 95% of these cases, it is not necessary. It's not necessary to get surgery. It's not necessary to go on heavy pain medication. You can fix these problems yourself and live a life without back pain. And this is so enormous. Because, you know, if you're, if you're watching this, you've probably either dealt with back pain or you might have back pain right now and you know how debilitating it can be. You get out of bed in the morning, you can barely move. Sometimes you can't even bend down to pick something up. You can't, you know, play with your grandchildren. You can't do the sport that you like to do. Uh, you can't even go to a theater because you can't sit very long, you can't be the husband or wife that you want to be, you can't be the parent that you want to be, it's, it's really something that can ruin your life. There is good news. So as I told you before, 90-95% of these problems can be fixed and in these three parts of these videos I'm going to explain you exactly how and what you need to do. Let me start off with this. The reason that I got into being a physiotherapist is actually because of my own back pain. So when I uh, hit puberty, I had started to get a lot of uh, back pain and part of it was because I had a job where I was standing uh, for multiple hours a day. Uh, it's actually sort of a funny story. Um, because I was having back pain and because it was influencing my mood and uh, I wasn't very nice to my colleagues back at the time because of this I got so annoyed and frustrated and I was snappy they actually put me outside uh, which I had a little cart and the only thing I could do over there was sell sausages so they used to call me the sausage king and I got this sort of this cap and basically it was it was horrible to be the sausage king and eventually it led me to to leave that job and it was it was a horrible time pretty much so my mom took me to a doctor doctor said you need to go to physio. Physio said, oh, your, your back is too curved, this is genetic, there's nothing you can do. We didn't accept that. We went to see a Caesar therapist and they uh, tried to work on my posture and the way I was walking and all this, which gave me a very tiny bit of relief, not enough, so we kept searching. Then we went to a chiropractor and the chiropractor said, oh, it's because your pelvis is malaligned and one leg is longer than the other and we have to adjust it and put it back in place. Uh, we did that for a couple times, felt a little bit better, but let's say 10%, so it didn't last. Then they sent me to a uh, podologist, somebody to look at my feet, and they said, oh, actually, it's your feet, they're weak, they're flat, we need insoles and correct it, and, and that's gonna help you with your back. So I got $300 insoles, it helped for about, again, 10% or so, and you know, I just got frustrated. It got to a point where I was like, this is, I can't, I can't do anything. It's getting worse, like this must be my life. Um, the conclusion at the end of the day was uh, from another physio was you have a genetically weak lower back. Thank you. So after a while of walking around with this idea in my head, um, there, there was a point I wanted to pick up sports again. So I wanted to do Thai boxing. And the first time I got there, there was this, you know, old um, uh, Asian uh, teacher. And uh, before we got started, I told him like, there's a lot of things I can't do because you know, I have a genetically weak lower back, and my feet are weak, and that causes my back problems to get worse. And this, and he just cut me off, and he said, "What? Genetically weak? What? 
So I explain myself again. He's like, that doesn't exist. That's bullshit. Excuse my language. He said, nothing is genetically weak. You're just weak. And I was like, whoa, that's, I was kind of caught off guard. And I was like, how, how, how could this old Asian looking guy tell me that I'm weak? He doesn't even know me. So then he got up to his belly, laid down flat on the floor. You know how you would normally do a push up and he put his arms straight ahead of him. So he's pretty much flat and he just lifted himself off the floor. Whoop, just like that. And he, he said, you can do this. So I figure if he can do it, I'd be able to do it. So I lay down, I try it. I was in, like a fish on dry land. I couldn't move. I couldn't get up. And he said, you know why you can't do that? Because you're weak. That's a good point. Then he showed me some other tests, uh, a test that would show me how my core is supporting the rest of my spine. Test one, couldn't do it. Test two, couldn't do it. Test three, couldn't do it. He said, you see, that's because you're weak. You're not genetically weak, you're just weak. And the only thing that you need to do is start training. And I had a, you know, what we call an, an aha moment, a realization. I was like, if he is 60 years old and he can do all this, and I'm 18 years old, or I don't know, maybe I was 16 or 18, there is something, something's off. I need to be able to do that. And he's like, you train with me until you can do these things and see if you still have back pain. He, he said, also, Dump the insoles, no need, we're gonna train barefoot, we're gonna make sure that you can squat your body weight, deadlift your body weight, uh, press your body weight, pull yourself up, etc. These things seemed impossible at the time. But he put me on a uh, weightlifting regimen, barefoot, it was very difficult, but after about six months, I had zero pain, zero pain. No pain in my uh, ankles, no knees, no hips, my back, I could lift twice my body weight, I could press my body weight, nothing. And ever since, I've never dealt with back pain anymore in my life. Oh, that's actually not true. Every now and then I'll do something um, and I'll have a little bit of back pain. I join a heavy uh, weightlifting uh, class, yeah, have a little back pain, but you know what? I play tennis, I have a little bit of shoulder pain. Um, I sprain my ankle, I have a little bit of ankle pain. These things are normal but it's not something that I cannot control it's not something that even bothers me you know just the way that you can get sore if you work out yeah I can get a sore back every now and then this is normal and as a matter of fact research shows that about 80% of all people gets back pain somewhere in their life now it's important first off to realize that there's two types of back pain. One is called specific back pain. The other one is called aspecific back pain. And specific back pain is back pain that you could see on a scan pretty much. So a broken bone, a torn muscle, for example, some kind of malformation in the spine, those things are called specific problems. So imagine having a car accident, going through an x-ray, they see you have a broken spine, that's a specific problem. The other ones, the aspecific ones, are problems that you can't see. And that's usually because they are muscle-based, ligament-based, tendon-based. These things don't show up on a scan unless you have big damage, a tear in a muscle, or just like I mentioned before. But typically, it's not like that. It has to do with either malalignment in the spine overusing certain areas, not being able to use certain muscles. Because if you think about it, how, did we ever learn how to properly use the muscles that support our spine? Maybe you've had PE in school, but other than that, not really, right? So what I do is I teach people how to use their backs and then make them stronger. So if you're dealing with back pain for, uh, right now, they, these are the questions that you need to ask yourself. First of all, did you have a trauma? If you actually had a car accident or anything like that, there is a chance you have a specific problem and that would mean that it's uh, potentially good to get tested. Number two, is the pain local? So is it, can you point it out with one finger? Or does it spread? So to give you an example, 
people with herniations, herniated discs, and have irritation on the nerve, sometimes have more pain in the leg than in the back. And this is what we call a red flag. Pain going down to the legs, specifically both and past the knees. Sometimes numbness in the legs, control issues, spasms, uh, and especially movements or moments where you sneeze or pressure build up, you get more pain in the leg, that's what we call a red flag. And also puts you more into the specific part of problems. If you're not having that, you're more into the A-specific parts. Number three, can you influence the pain? So is the pain always the same? It doesn't matter if you sit, stand, lay down, move. If it's always the same, like a toothache that doesn't disappear, it's possible to be at the specific part of back pain. If you can manage it, so you lay down, hey, less pain. Hey, you sit in a certain way, less pain. It's more likely to be an A-specific problem. All right, so, so these types of questions can already give you an, an idea of where you're at. And in most cases, you'll find that you are leaning more towards the A-specific part than to the specific part. Now, if the questions that I just asked you are putting you more into the specific part, then these video series might not be for you. Go to a doctor and get checked first. If you're more towards the A-specific part, hey, there's no trauma right? It's a local pain. I can influence it by how I'm sitting and whatever. Then you might be more towards the A-specific part. And that's good news because what we're going to do in the following series is going to teach you exactly how to manage that. So in the second part of the videos, we're going to make a distinction. Are you a type A or a type B? These are the two main types of back pain. And once we know to which uh, pattern you belong, we have a good starting point to, to start to counteract that pattern and bring you back into uh, a balanced state, so to speak. Now, um, for now, answer those questions for yourself. If you have any questions or additional things that I didn't cover, let me know below and I'll go over that in the next video. Um, and if you want to have more information, you can just contact me personally or take a look at the website, which is uh, markchainmovement.com. There's also a Patreon site, which is patreon.com slash markchainmovement. And uh, you'll find tons more uh, content uh, that might be useful for you. For now, let me know if there's any questions and I will see you in part two of the video series. Bye.